With your anamorphic footage imported into Premiere Pro, right click on your clip in the project window and in the drop down menu select Modify Interpret Footage. A new window will open and in here under Pixel Aspect Ratio select Conform To and in the options change from Square Pixels 1.0 to HD Anamorphic 1080 1.333. The Siri anamorphic lenses shoot in a 1.333 ratio, so your anamorphic footage will now be de-squeezed and displayed properly. You can either drag your clip onto the new item icon to create an anamorphic ratio timeline, or alternatively, if you're editing in a standard 16x9 timeline, drag your clip onto the timeline, right click on it and select scale to frame size. This will scale your anamorphic clip to fit within a 16x9 frame. If you have multiple anamorphic clips you wish to de-squeeze, you can do this process on all of your clips at once. Simply make sure that you select all of the clips you want to de-squeeze in the project window and follow the same process. When you add all of your footage to the timeline, select it all and right-click Scale to Frame Size. This will allow you to quickly de-squeeze all your footage in one go.